It has been the best experience that I've had in both my professional and my personal life. I would describe it as something that has been very professionally rewarding. I would recommend this for anyone, even if you're not involved or, or your business or organization is not interested in applying for the Missouri Quality Award, I think the lessons learned and the takeaways are valuable for any organization, industry, or business. Helping choose organizations that have achieved performance excellence is one of several significant responsibilities of a group of volunteers. Experts from business, education, healthcare, and nonprofits, these volunteers are deeply invested in and passionate about the pursuit of performance excellence. It's understandable. Leaders in their fields, they are outstanding people who know the program affords them the opportunity to render exceptional service not only to organizations, but to the country as a whole. They are Missouri Quality Award, Vision of Performance Excellence Award, and Excellence in the Heartland Award examiners. The Excellence in Missouri Foundation was established in 1992 to administer the Missouri Quality Award program and to promote performance excellence principles in organizations from all industry sectors. Modeled after the prestigious Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award, the Missouri Quality Award offers a thorough and objective educational process through which an organization can learn and apply quality implementation techniques and assessment methods. The Excellence in Missouri Foundation began administering the Vision of Performance Excellence Award program in the Northeast in 2012, now serving Delaware, New Jersey, and Rhode Island. The Excellence in Missouri Foundation also recently began serving the state of Kansas under the Excellence in the Heartland Award program. Every year, a wide variety of organizations pursuing a wide variety of objectives apply for the Missouri Quality Award, Vision of Performance Excellence Award, and Excellence in the Heartland Award. Each application is carefully evaluated by trained examiners who themselves have been carefully evaluated. When we're selecting examiners, we are looking for a variety of different types of people. We want people who have the ability to serve as leaders. We also want people who have the ability to serve as team members, to work with others in large groups, um, and to work in pairs to be able to back up and to lead other members of the team. So we're looking for the type of folks who have a lot of variety in their background. We want to make sure that we have all of the se sectors um, addressed that apply for the award. For instance, if we have a manufacturing application, we want people from the manufacturing sector who are working on that award, but we also want people who are from other sectors who br uh, bring a variety of experiences. So all sectors are important. Um, all sizes of the organization are important. And what we're really looking for are people who are lifelong learners, who want to continue to grow their learning because this is an amazing learning process and those who want to contribute to the greater good of an organization by making a real difference for the organizations who apply for our award. Those chosen to become examiners join the Missouri Quality Award, the Vision of Performance Excellence, or the Excellence in the Heartland Board of Examiners, serving a one-year term. They need to reapply in subsequent years. Selection is a high honor, but beyond that, there are real and substantial rewards. This program allows people to learn what other organizations outside of their sector are doing, as well as learning from those within their sector. And there are opportunities to bring those nuggets of learning back to your organization. It always also helps to teach skills, such as leadership, organizational skills, um, how to get along better with people on a team, collaborative skills, those things that we can all use in our daily lives. The details are great, but you have to step back and look at the big picture. And, and there are some, there are not that many opportunities in your professional career where you're working in a program that does a phenomenal balance between looking at the details and pulling up and, and going high level. And this is one of those odd um, or I should say one of those great things that you can see both the details and the high level at the same time. What amazes me is that every year I continue to expand skills. 
I learn something new. Uh, I learn not only more about how to manage better, but I learn more about how to deal with people effectively as I work through the different levels of the MQA organization as well. Each year, a third of the Board of Examiners turns over, assuring a continual re-energizing through the infusion of new people with fresh ideas about performance excellence. Ideas that all examiners can take back to their organizations and communities. Examiners who combine a strong commitment to the program with leadership ability can be named senior examiners. Further, each year, several examiners are recommended to be included in a pool of candidates from which award program judges are appointed. When you're looking at the judges pool, these are our top-notch individuals um, who have served um, many years in the um, volunteer process who have demonstrated exceptional leadership skills, um, exceptional knowledge of the criteria, and the ability to be able to look at the examinations performed by the volunteers, by the examiners in the organization, to make an evaluation of who they would recommend as the recipients of the award process. So what we find is in our overseer pool, in our judges pool, we have the most experienced uh, volunteers who have uh, been with us for, in many cases, a long period of time. Examiners play key roles in the vital process of selecting Missouri Quality Award, Vision of Performance Excellence Award, and Excellence in the Heartland Award recipients. They are called on to scrutinize applications, but more than that, they are asked to respond to those applications with comments. These comments form the basis of feedback reports prepared for all award applicants. These reports, independent external assessments of an organization's strengths and opportunities for improvement, are of enormous benefit to applicants and of immeasurable value in helping them become better. My organization, there's been years when we are not eligible to win but we've still continued to apply because that feedback report and that consultant uh, feedback is priceless and invaluable and helps us continue our journey towards improvement um, and betterment, not only from a healthcare perspective, but just as a good community, business, and organization. Evaluating applications and developing feedback reports, while major examiner responsibilities are just a part of what they are called on to do. Not only do they take the knowledge they gain as examiners back to their own organizations, they are also ambassadors for the Missouri Quality Award, Vision of Performance Excellence Award, and Excellence in the Heartland Award programs, and help spread the message as widely as possible. And they do so with an enthusiasm that makes clear how deeply committed they are to the programs. The Missouri Quality Award program has been called one of the most successful public-private partnerships in the country because it has made organizational quality and high performance more than just goals. It has made them priorities. Missouri Quality Award examiners have been an essential component in that success. It is the Foundation's goal that the Vision for Performance Excellence Award and the Excellence in the Heartland Award programs become equally successful. These outstanding people have rendered exceptional services to the program and each organization's pursuit of performance excellence. In today's economy, personal development, professional development can be very difficult to come by. When you serve as a volunteer in the, our award process, um, analyzing Baldridge applications, you have the opportunity to receive training uh, in, in a top-notch award process, the ability to be able to learn how to examine an organization, to learn the Baldridge criteria in a way that you can't learn by simply reading the criteria. You also have the ability to look at what other organizations are doing and potentially apply best practices to what you do in your work environment. Um, the reason why you should serve as an examiner is for the professional development.